and put a rotate the centre there just to give it a little bit of support. Bring the tool out just a little bit. This off, man. Looks like the, the nail's jumping about, but I bumped the camera. Support with me. Head. Using this end, turn on using this end because that's where the threads are. That's going to be turned down anyway. It's a, it's a fit for a bearing, so it's probably, a, it's just probably the right size. That's all I was told. Same size of both ends. Now we're setting up for that. Now we need some threads putting on the end. I think I want three at the UNC. The little rag on there that needs to be removed. Just a little, little sharp edge. Right, I'm going to make this thread 10mm, 10 by 1.5. Just to ease up a bit of do that thread and it doesn't matter what thread it is because the nut goes on. I've measured distance between there and the shoulder. How I did that I used the DRO, two touch there, brought it back and just put a little mark so I know exactly where I'm machining down to.
can use a dial to put the, the threads on the end. I could screw cut it, but I think the dial will do the, the job, probably no problem at all. You can see I'm just using the, the chuck, just to, the tail stock chuck, just to hold the diners in straight. Yeah, let's put a nice thread on there. Very happy with that. Right, so up to now, that's all the offset turning done. In case of parting this off now, carefully grip it on there, probably in a collar chuck. Just do that face, then collar block again, probably slip and saw a small melon cutter and put the slot in. And that's one done, then I've got to do another one. I think I'm quite pleased with that. We've got the, the offset part, which is the in, interesting part of the job, really, was the, the offset, which worked quite well. Right, let's so we can get this thing finished this week. I just ran out of time last week. Um, I think they part it off to then turn it around and face it, then put a slot in, it's just about there. So then part this off, it's going to be an interrupted cut at first, just until it makes it round. brush for the oil to keep the oil out of the into the cut to go through. I'm going to cut that off with a hacksaw. I just don't want to risk it uh, doing anything spectacular when I'm then finished it. One mil taken off that face, and then a little shove I'm putting on. So I'm just touch it off. There's a half a mil. So that's finished thickness now.
that's it. Just to slot the machine in there, we've got a uh, crack. Okay, we'll use this little AR32 collar block or a little bit of a review on. Put that in the face. That bit of wires just to stop the, the jaw from lifting the Next, to pick up the centre and just machine a slot in, I'll measure and see what size milling cutters I've got that made survive long enough to do that. Right, we need to pick the centre of this up. Um, you can measure up both sides and split the difference, but I have got a beautiful mark right in the centre where it was faced. So I'm just going to use this wiggler and line it up by eye. It should be as accurate as it needs to be for what it's actually doing. <coughs> right, that's absolutely spot on there. Right, that's a 3 mil milling cutter. I've got the machine running as fast as it'll go. And one thing I have done is I've put some eye protection on because this milling cutter really will want to break. So it touched it off there, up to full speed. Put the belt down again. Nice. Something for that. Little spanner John. There's a hole in the original one, he doesn't want that hole putting in. So that's quite nice. I enjoyed making them, very satisfying. Something a little bit different. I'm just going to make another one now. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes and kind words that are coming in. Anyway, thanks for watching.